Hello everyone! Tony, put on your spacesuit, hop on the spaceship, and let's go to space! Today we are going to take a look at one of the most mysterious and unknown objects in the universe, a black hole. We're going to learn what is a black hole, and we're going to see if it can take you to any point in time and space, or if it's only death and nothing more. And you'll be right in the middle of it! Let's start! So, we're almost there. Do you see the black hole? What do you mean, no? Is that place where there's nothing else? Yeah, that's right. The thing is that black holes are massive objects that absorb light instead of reflecting it, so seeing one is almost impossible. On top of that, their gravity is so strong that even light distorts under its influence. So, around a black hole, the universe seems blurred and distorted. By the way, the term black hole is not quite right. It is more a sphere that absorbs everything that get close enough to it. So, how these cosmic vacuum cleaners came to be? Imagine a star like our sun, but several times bigger. At the end of its life, this star will shrink, getting smaller and smaller, while its mass remains the same. In this case, the star's density increases along with its gravity. When its size reaches its minimum and its density is at the highest level, the star collapses and a black hole appears. But keep in mind that not all stars can become black holes. A small star like our Sun will turn into a neutron star, which is a bright white dwarf that soon will fade. Keep in mind that in space, soon can mean millions of years, while a small star is thousands of times bigger than our planet. For example, in the middle of our galaxy, the Milky Way, there is a huge black hole known as Sagittarius A star, whose mass is 4 million times bigger than that of our Sun. And it's located at a distance of 26,000 light years away from us. This means that at the speed of light, which is 300,000 kilometers per second, we'll need 26,000 years to get there. 26,000 years, Carl! But we live in an animated world, so we got here in just one instance. By the way, if you don't know yet, we have a mobile game about Super Tony. You have to play as our hero, fight monsters, and overcome various obstacles. Try it, you will not regret it. You can download it using the link in the description. So, let's get out from our spaceship and get close to the hole to see what's inside it. First, we have to pass the event horizon, which is something like the outer boundary of a black hole. Once we pass it, there's no way back because the gravity is so strong that nothing in the world can take you back. Tony doesn't feel anything weird, but if he looks back, he will see the whole history of our universe, from the Big Bang to its end. With each second, Tony will move towards the center of the black hole faster and faster. There he will meet Singularity, which is the center of the black hole, and the closer he gets, the worse he feels. The gravity becomes irregular and starts to act differently in different parts of the body. So, your organism will compress and stretch at the same time. This is known as spaghettification. Basically, Tony will turn into one long and thick spaghetti. It doesn't sound very pleasant, but it gets even worse. Tony's body will divide into subatomic particles, which means that it will break into little pieces impossible to see. So, from the outside, it looks like the body disintegrated into nothingness. Nevertheless, friends, there is another theory. Some physicists state that the gravitation inside the black hole is so strong that it distorts space and time, causing the appearance of a wormhole. This is like a tunnel that allows you to travel anywhere in the universe. So, if a spaceship manages to withstand the effects of gravity and reach the singularity in one piece, it could enter the wormhole. Then it can travel to the past, the future, other galaxies, other universes, or even other dimensions. We must say that Stephen Hawking, the most famous physicist and cosmologist of our time, didn't believe in this theory and stated that the only thing you'll find in the center of a black hole is total annihilation. But if wormholes are real and another civilization learns to control them, then we should expect a visit from another galaxy or maybe from another time. By the way, tell us in the comments if you are interested in extraterrestrial civilizations. Are they real? If they are, then why haven't we had any news from them? If you are truly interested, then we will do some research and answer to all your questions. But for now, 
our little trip to a black hole has come to an end. Tell us in the comments if you know any interesting facts about this object. By the way, supposedly there's no way to get out from a black hole, but I think 3000 likes could save Tony, and he could keep making interesting videos for all of you. So help us friends, I'll get bored on my own. See you soon!